Okay, so we have a um, KTM wheel here that the bearing is in there, but it, it's loose. Obviously, it's worn. It's a worn hub. I need uh, what I'm going to basically be showing you is how to uh, put it temporary shim it so that it, it as you can see, you can see how, how worn it is. Um, let me just wheel it around with your fingers. So what I'm going to do is shim it. So to ye to get something thin enough to be able to shim it, I am going to use a can, an empty can. So what I'm going to do is basically cut 10 to 15 mil in width, the same length as from here, right away around to there. And when we insert the shim around the bearing whilst tapping it in, it's going to stop this here. So let's get on with it and I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, so I removed the bearing now, which is obviously too slack. We're going to cut the can of the empty can, whatever it be, Coke, Tango, Pepsi, don't matter. Cut it open like this. And what you're going to do is find out the thickness of the bearing. So it's roughly 10 mil, give and take, and just cut it the same width as the bearing, like so. Took away the excess. Then, if you get the bearing and wrap it around, just cut, don't let it overlap, just cut it slightly short, like so. And then we're gonna insert and make a shim so the bearing doesn't move in the hub. It's a bit tricky. But it will go in. Can you hold it there, buddy? Okay. Like so, gently tap in the bearing and the can. Then what I tend to use is obviously a socket and just go right around the perimeter and so just gently. Tapping in, making sure you are tapping the can to the bottom, like so. As you can see now, that bearing, it's solid. By no means it's no fix but it does the job. This is one of my spare wheels and we're racing tomorrow, so I need it basically. It's got the new tire on it. So that's how I shim a wheel. I'm just gonna go around and do the other side now and show you how to do it again. I'm gonna obviously tap the ceiling. Ceiling. And right, right, give them your buddy. I need them. I told you. I have got, got the boy out here now who is pinching my tools. Quick! I need them. <laughs> I'll see the insert. Daddy, I just was looking at the lamps for you. it all the way home the old bearings were quite rusty so i had to hit the spaces out and i slightly caught it and marked it so that's why i had to tap that one back in so we're going to do the same now on this side here make sure you get your spacer in the middle like so and then there
so. Come on. It is a bit of a pot, but stick at it. It will go in. Okay. okay. That's because I didn't cut the shim quite as straight as I would have liked it, but nevertheless. In and dip down. Okay, so the, the bin is in, the shim is in. I'm going to tap the seal back in here with my little toffee hammer, and then obviously tap the insert back in. As you can see, there is no more play. There's no more play in the worn hub. So by no means it, it's not a permanent fix, but yet I've done it in the past and it's lasted till you change your bearings. So this is an old wheel um, and I'll continue doing it and yeah. It's, it's, it's handy to have a spare wheel.